Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to connect some roads together. As you remember, I created just one road, so I will create two more. For this, I will speed things up a little. Here I have a curve and as you can see it is not very smooth. The waypoints are too far apart. In this case, it is recommended to use a smaller waypoint distance. Don't forget to link other lanes so your cars be able to overtake. Now we are ready to connect these roads together. The connection process is very simple. Just hit connect roads and some red squares will appear on screen. If you click on a red square, only the available lanes to connect will be shown. To create a connection, simply click on the red square you want. You can adjust the curve by dragging the points. The undo system works for these points also. If you are happy with your setup, hit Generate Selected Connection and your waypoints will be generated. If you want to see the waypoints, press the Waypoints button. Also, you can change the colors if you want. With the Draw All Connections button, you can hide all connections at once. Now, I will connect the next row. I do not recommend you doing this if your curves starting on the same road are intersecting, your cars will collide and they might block your intersection. You can delete the connection and do it properly now. It is not required to connect every lanes with each other, but every lane should have a connection. So if you see a red square, you have to connect it at least to one lane. Hit generate and hide them. Do the same thing for the last road. I hide the connection because if you see all of them at once, it will be harder to understand, so I recommend you to hide the curves if you are not planning to edit them. Ok, this is done, now hit the apply settings and let's see how the cards will go. As expected, the cards will follow the curve path I just created. In the next video, I will show you how to create an intersection that will make your cars give priority to each other. Thank you for watching and as always, if you have questions, leave them in the comments or send them by email.